owner of the Red Park, a steakhouse and pub. And then we also have Dan Fitzpatrick with us today, who is the chef. And Terry, why don't you tell us a little bit about this beer dinner you were just mentioning to me? Well, Shipyard Brewing Company over in Portland uh, wanted to pair up with us. We sell a lot of Shipyard beer and do a beer dinner. And Chef Dan came up with an incredible menu for it. We're very excited right. about it. Well, I want to hear about that menu. So, Chef Dan, can you explain a little bit about... Well, why don't you... Yeah, I'll explain. All right. Both of you, come in together. Talk well, about the menu. It's a seven-course menu. Mm -hmm. um, they won't be huge portions, but because we've got seven different beers and we have a mead as well. Um, starting out with pumpkin head ale, and that is with the... Um, um, turkey wrapped bacon. Turkey tenderloin wrapped with applewood smoked bacon. Wow, that's awesome. That sounds coolie. great. Yep, and then there's um, the salad course with the smashed pumpkin ale, and that's with a salad of uh, baby arugula, red and green oak leaf lettuce, grilled and chilled lamb loin, mission figs, and toasted sunflower seeds, and a rose water and pumpkin pie spice vinaigrette. You guys are making me very hungry. I'm, yeah. I'm wishing that it was all laid out and we could taste it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, there's, there's two entrees that look amazing. It's a pork tenderloin and wild mushroom strudel finished with pork and export ale au jus. And then a currant glazed duck breast with roasted blue potato and grilled asparagus. Wow. I think that as you incredible. can see, we're trying to keep it um, autumnal. Yes. Yeah, I, I definitely can see that. I love like the, the seasonal flavors and all of that. And we, we met with um, Jim Belisle from the Shipyard Brewing Company, so they paired up the menu items with the flavor characteristics of the beers. And Jim will be there at the dinner too, so he's going to talk about the beers and Chef Dan will talk about the uh, food items. Wow, that's incredible. And don't so forget dessert. Oh my goodness, oh, the dessert. A <laughs> cashew twill with white and dark chocolate mousse and a caramel creme anglaise. I think everyone is just getting hungry <laughs> listening about it. So why don't you tell them what day, what time this is all happening? Okay, it's um, Thursday, October 24th. Tickets are $50 each, and we are limited in space. We're only selling 50 tickets. Okay. But they can call us at the Red Parka at 383-4344, or just stop in and uh, enjoy a pumpkin head beer and. Get your ticket then. All right, wonderful. So fif only 50 tickets. So if you're interested in this amazing meal, I mean, what you said, seven courses, appetizer, salad, dessert, main courses, and they get to try all the different beers as well. And if you want to learn more about all those beers, they're also going to be there talking about that and learning about the food with Chef Dan. That's really exciting. You can go to redparkapub.com. Yes, we have, we have the full menu on there as well and information. Okay, great. So if you need more information on that, you can check out the website or their Facebook page at Red Parka Steakhouse and Pub as well. So let's talk about the Halloween party. Oh, we do a Halloween party that has been going on for years. It's always on Halloween, regardless of the day of the week. And this year we're pairing up again with Shipyard, and we have a promo with Pumpkinhead Ale. First prize for the costume is a brewery tour dinner for two and an overnight in Portland. Wow, great so prize. So it should be fun. And the costumes are always really unusual. It's a good time. What's the most unusual costume you've seen? Can you think of any of the um, fun ones? I think, I think we've had some amazing ones. I think probably one of the funniest ones is my husband came as a sheik and he came in the kitchen door and nobody knew who he was oh my gosh. until we saw the cowboy boots. Okay, <laughs> you knew him from his boots. Well, that's good. Yeah. And then didn't, didn't uh, freak you out too much. <laughs> all right, anything that else that you want to talk about that? I know that you mentioned that you do all lo locally sourced food with yeah. that as we well. Yeah, we do a lot. Um, we got a pretty strong partnership with White Gates Farm in Tamworth, as well as Pork Hill Farm in Freedom. I'm sorry, in Ossipee. And we use a couple other farms at a smaller scale. But 90% of the, well, the salad bar produce and mm -hmm. tomatoes and all that is locally sourced. A lot of the meats, the pork, chicken, a lot of the stuff in this particular menu for the, the uh, beer dinner is too. But it's been quite a good relationship and you know the food is just fantastic that you get from these guys it's really 
Yeah, I, th I think that's wonderful because then you're using fresh food from local farmers, supporting local economy. It's it all just comes wonderful. back. It definitely yeah. does. And so many different levels. Yep, really all great. of our specials. Dan creates specials every week, and they're all locally sourced products on there. You know, some incredible pork dishes and the chicken, just beautiful things. Wonderful. So definitely if, you, if you're interested in locally sourced food, this is the place to go as well. Or even if you're not, <laughs> just to get a good meal. It sounds like you guys have some great, great, great. Well, and we are first and foremost a steakhouse. Mm -hmm. You know, we hand cut all of our steaks and um, they're aged on premise. And that's what we started out as 40 years ago. And that's we're going to stay that are. way. Yep, still are. <laughs> All right, sounds great. So let's go ahead and throw those um, the website out again, redparkapub.com. So if you need more information, you can go to redparkapub.com. And you can check out their Facebook page at Red Park a Steakhouse and Pub. Anything else that you wanted to mention to our viewers today, Terry? I just enjoy the foliage. You know, we're still, still open on the patio, too. So if the weather is good, it's a perfect time to sit outside and have dinner, an early dinner, or just cocktail. I love that. So come by when the weather's good. Visit Terry and Dan at Red Park Steakhouse and Pub. All right, we're going to be back with you guys in just a few moments. And of course, we'll have some more fun things going on. We have some more interviews coming up. I know that the Gulag is going to be here, as well as Strides Against Cancer. So lots of great things.